Okay, in this video, I'm going to run through a very quick um, and uh, not very detailed, but a quick run through on how to create a set of stairs for uh, Revit. What I'm going to do here is grab my architecture tab and then I'm going to move over to the stair tool. I'm going to go ahead and select that stair tool. And then immediately, I'm going to come over to my properties and take a look at the properties. The default properties uh, in Revit are not 7 and 3 quarter max or 10. I believe it's uh, like 7 by. Um, 11. Uh, so what I do immediately right away is I go in and edit the information here and I duplicate the stair and I make it seven and three quarters uh, max rise to a 10 inch tread and I actually don't even need the number two there but then hit OK. Um, I go ahead and do that and um, then I change the max rise height to be seven and three quarters and with a uh, minimum tread depth of 10 inches. Uh, this is based off of the current uh, IRC code for architectural stairs. Once I go ahead and do and get that all set up, and it's fine and good. Then what I'm going to do is I slide down and set up my base level. My base level where my stairs are going to begin is on level one. And then the top level is going to be the level I want to finish at. And because I do what is the top of level one walls, I then need to change that to be level two because the default is to grab the next level above uh, level one. So go ahead and grab my level two, and then I come over into my area that I want to draw my stairs. And I already have a set of stairs drawn in here, uh, this uh, U-shape uh, stair. But for this, I'm just going to select uh, where I want to start the stairs, and then just start pulling out the stairs. And as I drag my mouse uh, towards the right here, you can see right below uh, where it says seven risers created, nine remaining, and it starts to uh, increase and decrease as treads are created. As these treads are created, and I move all the way out to the end of the staircase, 16 risers created, zero remaining. I'm going to go ahead and then just left click. This is now the rough uh, location and rough run of my stairs. When I hit this green check, then it goes ahead and makes a set of stairs. I'll just pull back out here, grab my view tab, and uh, create a quick section here just so I can see what these stairs look like uh, in section. So I'll go to that section view quickly and you can see that the stairs are beginning down here on level one and they're running up to or just below what would be the last step up onto uh, the second floor. So that would work for the set of stairs. Of course I haven't created a stair well uh, in my second floor yet. Um, that would occur when selecting the second floor, going to my level two and then creating an edit of that. Now obviously the stairs would not fit, they're going through a wall um, I would go ahead and actually then just select this and I could box out for my uh, stairwell and hit OK. Um, then now that I have this set up I could then go and look at this uh, hole uh, per se in my 3D view with a camera and I can take a look to see exactly what these stairs would look like if I were standing on the second floor and I was looking down that set of stairs. Um, so that is one way uh, to go ahead and set up a set of stairs. Now this is a wall running through. Uh, we'll just go ahead and hide that wall for now. I don't want to destroy my model, but I'll hide that element. There's my full stairwell. Uh, that I can see I can go down, and I have ample head height if I were to walk on down that stairwell. Uh, so that's how to make a quick run, a uh, straight run of stairs if I wanted to go ahead and do that. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and set up a different um, set of stairs, say this winder uh, or this U-shaped set of stairs, we'll just go ahead and delete that stair. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a very similar um, thing, grab my architecture tab, I'll slide over here to the stair, grab the stair tool, and then make sure I'm still running with my 7 and 3 quarter and 10 tread, make sure it says level 1, and then change this again up to level 2, make sure that's set up, and then I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in where my stairs would run. So if I wanted to recreate this set of stairs, um, I would just select how many treads I need. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to just run this out so I have um, that's six, eight, eight. That's eight. And then I'm going to pull down over to here because if I want this thing to return, then I just need to select it and then pull out the rest of the stairs. So pull that out and drop those stairs in position and then this would create a U-shaped set of stairs. Hit my green check and now those have been created. Uh, if I wanted to go in and take a look at this as a section, I'll slice that and then give my depth for the stairs. Then I can go and look at that and see that the stairs are running uh, from the first floor up to the second floor and are set up. Of course my um, 
floor uh, stairwell hole is not correct. And I'm actually going to go back and change that out of the set of drawing. Um, but so that's a real quick and dirty how to get this set up so you can have a set of stairs and then look at this in a section view. Um, hope this helps with your stairs.